In 2018, Hurricanes Florence and Michael made catastrophic landfalls over the United States. They caused extreme flooding, record-breaking winds, and storm surges that devastated communities. Understanding how hurricanes behave is critical to saving lives. How a hurricane forms, develops, and dissipates is a complex problem, though. It involves many different processes that are highly interconnected. But from space and the air, NASA satellites and aircraft can break down the underlying physics by monitoring each component of a hurricane. There are a few key ingredients for hurricanes to form. First, we need warm waters that provide fuel for the storms. Water evaporates from the warm ocean and creates humid air, which then rises and cools to form clouds and rain. 3D structures to look for inside storms are long rain bands and a near circular eye wall. The warmer the ocean, the stronger the storm can be, which often means heavy rainfall and extreme winds. Understanding each component is just part of the puzzle. The key is to figure out how they fit together. And to do this, scientists step into the digital world. This is a computer generated model of a hurricane. Inside this digital environment, the atmosphere is programmed to behave as much as possible like the real world, governed by the laws of physics. What makes this a valuable research tool is that scientists can put satellite observations into this digital world to see how the entire system evolves. The impact of a hurricane lasts long after the storm is dissipated. Satellites and aircraft can also be used to monitor damage and recovery. In 2017, Hurricane Maria caused the longest electric power blackout in U.S. history in Puerto Rico. Over the following year, satellite data helped first responders monitor where and when power was restored. And after Hurricane Maria, aircraft were used to map the island's recovering forests. Satellites, aircraft, and computer models help us understand each stage of a hurricane, including the aftermath. As we learn more, not only will other agencies better forecast weather, but communities will have more time to prepare and evacuate from potentially dangerous storms. <laughs>